Hi, I am Christopher Johnson. I am in sixth grade. I go to Chester Elementary School and I invented Steri Cool. I came up with my invention when I fell on ice and I didn't have anything to disinfect it or make it feel any better because we weren't at home, we were at a birthday party. So that was how I came up with the idea of making like a dual packet disinfecting and soothing wipes for when you're away from home. So here's how my invention works. Say I have a small cut on my arm. First, I would open up the disinfecting wipe. I would open the packet like this, would take it out, and I would rub it on the cut. Then I would put that down, open the soothing packet with aloe vera gel on the pad, and I would also rub it on the cut. And I would dispose of all of these. To improve my invention, I'd have to make it in a sterile environment because stuffing the little gauze pads in there with my fingers is obviously not sanitary at all and bacteria would build up and it would become unsafe to use on the cut. The hardest part of making my invention was figuring out a painkiller to use that didn't um, cross-react with hydrogen peroxide because it's like chemically unstable and it doesn't really work with a lot of things because it will make a byproduct that could be unsafe. My invention could be marketed to anybody because you, you, a kid could take it on a bike ride around their neighborhood and if they fall off it's easy to use because they could just read one or two and then tear open the packet and use it and it you could also be marketed to parents and really anybody who else who needs to Dis, just disinfect a small cut. During the invention process, I was helped by my mom and dad in heat sealing the packets because the heat sealer gets very hot and in purchasing the items because I do not know my parents' Amazon password to get any of the products. I think inventing is important because if there were no inventions, then everything around us would probably not exist. We would be in the Stone Age living in caves that were naturally made. So some advice I'd have to students who are looking to get into Invention Convention would be that there is a lot of work that is, comes with it and you'll run into a lot of problems that you're going to have to overcome, but eventually you'll get a finished product that you'll like and that you'll be proud of and it'll be worth it.